so I'd like to start this video out with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the Nanny States of America. Yeah, I didn't take off my hat for that one either because I wasn't serious. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome to the fucking Nanny States of America. Oh my God. Get a little fucking people with their fucking panties and a fucking bunch over some stupid ass bullshit and they want to call for the end of it all. Take it all down. Alright, let's start off with the Confederate flag since that seems to be the big point of topic lately. And by the way, while everybody's worrying about the Confederate flag, you ought to check out what you really miss. But I figured I'd touch on the Confederate flag and how we're becoming the nanny states of America. Uh, everybody started screaming about the Confederate flag coming down after the tool bag decides to go into a fucking church and start wasting people. Um, all because... He screamed racial slurs, and people found pictures of him with the rebel flag. Same website had him burning an American flag, stepping on an American flag, and spitting on it. But I don't see anybody calling to remove the American flag. I mean, why, why should we remove the American flag? Obviously, it's not used in any racial affiliations, is it? Insert picture here. flags in that picture weren't there mm. yeah. and so Amazon eBay Walmart Warner Brothers take it off the Duke's car what the fuck uh, <laughs> Etsy <laughs> Etsy yeah Etsy way to go pull it off the shelf at Etsy online store you know cuz mm, they don't need much business there do they they're doing so fucking great anyways So oh, I wanted to, let's talk about the Duke's of Hazard car. So they pulled it off, Warner Brothers pulled it off of the car. Um, why? You know, back in the 70s when the fucking show was made, I heard somebody post something about, well, I thought the Duke's of Hazard was cool as a kid, but I was a kid and it was full of fast cars, doing jumps, and people out running the cops, and they were just cool, but I'm grown up now and now I see it's a racist emblem. Well, it wasn't kids that made that fucking show back then either. It was fucking adults. And it wasn't a racist issue then. It now becomes a racist issue some 30, 40 years later. Because people are getting their panties in a bunch. They want to be fucking part of the nanny states of America. They want to be politically correct on everything. Fuck your goddamn political correctness bullshit. You know? Because you were offended. Because... The Confederate flag was used in the Civil War, and certain racial groups used the Confederate flag. It is a racist symbol. Hmm. Okay. Cool. By that logic, I call immediately for every store to quit selling the cross. The cross is now deemed a racist symbol. How can the cross be deemed a racist symbol? Well, let's see. KKK, racist group. They use the cross in their ceremonies and traditions. It's part of their heritage. I don't know. I think I'm putting up a pretty good argument here. I mean, according to what everybody else is saying, the Confederate flag represents, my argument is pretty equal to yours. What do you think? Now, I know, I'm gonna get a bunch of fucking idiots posting comments you. I don't care. You know, I'm not part of the nanny states of America. I'm a grown-ass fucking man who has the right to voice my opinion and believe what I believe in. Don't like it? Don't watch the video. You don't want to hear my smart ass cam on back? Don't leave a fucking comment to the video because I guarantee you, I'm going to leave a smart ass comment back. Anyways, um, you guys really need to stop this shit. Somebody pointed out the swastika. Um, that it was used before Hitler. Yeah, it was. 5,000 years before Hitler ever used it. The swastika was there. Uh, swastika is still currently used. Uh, Buddhist Indonesians, they still use it in their temples. 
does it affect the Jewish people? Yeah, it does affect the Jewish people. It offends them. Um, but my point is, is because some groups decide to take a symbol and use it in their hatred, it should be banned from everybody else using it. It should be taken off the Confederate flag, especially taken off the Confederate monument in Alabama. You motherfuckers in Alabama, I hope when this settles down a little bit, you think about what you did. You took the Confederate flag off the Confederate monument. What the fuck part of that made sense? What the who the and you people living in Alabama, I really hope you consider who the fuck you vote for next time because you elected that twit. Um, I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. But to all you people that believe the Confederate flag is racist, I've got another one for you. I read an article. You might want to go support this nutbag too. You know, the one that wants to ban peanut butter and jelly sandwiches from the schools. Why? Because it's racist. Yeah, that's right. It's racist. Because the Latinos are used to tortillas, and the Portuguese, I believe it was, are used to the pita. So, having the bread on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is just promoting white, oh, what the hell did they call it? Oh, brain rack time. White privilege. Privilege. Because we got bread on our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And to the teacher that is pushing for the peanut butter and jelly sandwich to be removed because it's racist, you ignorant bitch, do you not realize saying Latinos? Tortilla? That's racist. You're claiming that Latinos like tortilla because they're Latinos. Okay. So I will leave you with that. I will bid you adieu. Not saying it. Peace.